Hello, hello, my amazing creative friends. Oksanti here again. Today I am answering a question from my uh, subscriber, Maria. And uh, Maria asks, uh, which software do you recommend for repeat pattern design? I am a textile designer with 11 years of experience and I uh, get a, a lot of questions just like this one. So I wanted to answer my personal opinion about why to choose specific software over the other. So which the types of software are there? So I would divide them into two different big types. So first type is more of a professional software, but without going into a factory level professional software. But uh, so this will be Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. So both Adobe programs are good for creating repeat pattern designs. But in my mind, uh, I definitely choose the vector illustration program, which is Adobe Illustrator, uh, for uh, many different reasons, which I uh, quickly will go over in this video. And the different second different type is uh, more of a free or um, less professional types of software, which are Inkscape and um, iPad or different Android uh, pattern creation tools. Uh, so I do not personally use any uh, iPad or other types of uh, software which are apps on the phone or on the, your tablet uh, because uh, in my mind my logic is if I put in the time to create my artwork I want it to be ready to be used in uh, different types of professional pattern design so I can sell them online or license them uh, later on so that is definitely a personal choice and if you're on the go maybe just for a type of a sketching process you might uh, opt into uh, to use uh, these types of apps but uh, I will definitely I am a big uh, proponent of Adobe Illustrator and why Adobe Illustrator over Photoshop so Adobe Illustrator is a vector pro program so when you create your the elements and your patterns in Adobe Illustrator it is different than just drawing like in the Photoshop uh, in a type of that is a raster software which is definitely more of a let's say that you would have a photo which is a raster tool so when you zoom uh, in a lot when you make the image very large on the screen you will see these little pixel dots in vector in Adobe Illustrator software you will not see the dots it will always be perfectly smooth and all the artwork will be scaled to basically <laughs> indefinitely uh, so this is the big plus in vector software on the other hand vector software is not designed that well for things like uh, repeat patterns which are more watercolor style or more of a sketch and different types of um, more of a traditional media types because even though you can create this artwork and I personally do it's uh, the artwork tends to be a very, really large so in for if in my opinion if you are more of a traditional style direction uh, artist meaning watercolors sketches then you or drawings you uh, would better go and research photoshop for your pattern creation but uh, if you are uh, if your style is more fluid or you're still looking for your style or you are uh, interested in creating uh, artwork that can be applied on different types of surfaces big very ginormous big ones or very small ones and it will have, that will have this type of versatility there's definitely Adobe Illustrator is for you I love a lot of flat artwork I love a lot of uh, simple simpler elements and more of an ink type of drawings without that much of a texture in my personal uh, preference so that's why Adobe Illustrator is definitely really really helpful in my case so I hope this clears up a little bit the question about which type of software you might use uh, if you're more of a into watercolors then probably Photoshop is a bit better for you and if you are um, a type, basically a different types of uh, digital more digital and flat uh, element uh, lover then you uh, probably will like Adobe Illustrator better. 
but I hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for uh, being here with us and please subscribe to this video like it and comment if you are uh, if you found it helpful and if you want more of the videos just like this one about Adobe Illustrator tips and tricks repeat pattern design tips and tricks and how to sell your artwork online uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I will really love to have you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!